So far, Lycanroc has been one of those Pokemon that you have only seen paired up with Tyranitar. But in today's video, we got ourselves a Midnight Form Lycanroc team that we're going to be pairing up with Metacham to pull up a crazy cool combo. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before I get started here with going over the team and how we are going to play it, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. Thank you so much for making this team, making it a rental code. I will be linking the, the team creator down in the description below and the PokePace is also on his channel. So if you want the PokePace, go ahead down in the description below to their channel. But uh, yeah, this team right here, we got Midnight, Lycanroc, and Metacham. Two Pokemon with amazing abilities, but Metacham learned Skill Swap, which passes ability from Pokemon to Pokemon. So with Metacham on the field and Midnight, Lycanroc at the same time, we can swap abilities with that Skill Swap, giving pure power to Lycanroc, doubling its attack. And then, on top of that, passing the No Guard to the Metacham. And what we can do from there is A, just uh, let Lycanroc go to work, doing double damage with Rock Slide and Stone Age, and then or B, we can actually pass skill swap again to either Ting Lu or Don Doza, which will give him no guard, allowing Fisher to land 100% of the time. That's a little excessive. That's really tough to do. But if we have a chance to do it, we're going to be trying it today. But the main purpose of this team is to skill swap the Metacham with the Lycanroc, Rock, making Lycanroc Rock do some crazy damage. Ting Lu is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Everything's pretty normal with them. Vessel of Ruin, Assault Vest, Stop and Get Jump, Heavy Slam, Rock Slide, Fisher. You guys seen this move set or Ting Lu before. Metachamp is going to be our second Pokemon, our first time using it in Scarlet and Violet. It's got pure power, focus hatch as item, close combat, skill swap that we already went over, detect, and fake out. We got Midnight Lycanroc in that third slot. Very cool Pokemon, absolutely love its design, but then no guard and a scope lens as its item. We got Stone Edge, Rock Slide, Helping Hand, and Protect. We also have Mimikyu on this team, and Mimikyu has been so strong every time I've been using it, especially when it, it, it is a Life Orb Mimikyu. It has disguised as its ability, play rough, shadow sneak, trick room, and protect. We got Tatsuguri in the fifth slot. Tatsuguri pairs up with Don Dozo, or like I said, if we if we had Don Dozo out there on its own, we can skill swap it and try to get it that no guard so Fisher can land. Tatsuguri has Commander, the Choice Scarf, Draco Meteor, Muddy Water, Hydro Pump, and Dragon Pulse. And then in the last slot, it is going to be Don Dozo with Unaware, Leftovers, Wave Crash, Fisher, Substitute, and Protect for its four moves. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this meta champ and midnight like a rock team. First match coming at you guys, and we're using a little bit of off meta team. So first match, we're going up against a little off meta team. This is cool. Dun Dun Sparse and Dun Sparse team. Double Dun Dun Sparse. That is just wild. That is just wild. I haven't seen this before, but they also have some very strong Pokemon. They got the Fluttermane, they got the Palfin, they also have the Arcanine, and last but not least. The brute bonnet so very strong pokemon i do gotta watch out for arcanine because arcanine's kind of scary right i mean all my pokemon are physical so arcanine is going to be a problem but i'm still gonna lead these two and try to get off that combo right it's gonna be very strong so i'm gonna go into them two and then do i just bring don dozo and tatsugiri i feel like that could be really good for us so you know what we're gonna do that we're gonna bring don dozo tatsugiri in the back end and we're gonna get ripping with it I'm all about it, but we're going to rock out with Lycan Rock and Medicham in match number one. Try to showcase them, and more importantly, try to grab ourselves a win here. But I'm kind of scared of Dunsparce and the Dunsparce. I never really played up against them or really know what they do. So I feel like they have like a secret in the chamber. And it's going to be coming out, and it's going to do me dirty. But Arcanine is already a problem. But if I can pure power swap, the Intimidate can pretty much wear off because it's just double damage. And I can start ripping with Lycan Rock. He does have scope ones and stone edge, which has a high chance of critting. We can absolutely rip into it. So crits can neglect all the attack drops, but we can just get after it that way. But we'll see who they want to lead. It's got to be Arcanine, right? It has got to be Arcanine, who we might just fake out turn one, depending on what they do. There's Palf and Arcanine. Uh, I think I do skill swap here. I think I end up just skill swapping. I think it is my plan. We're just going to skill swap real quick. And hmm, but I rock side in this slot. I mean, who could they swap into? I think we do stick with the Rock Slide here. And we should go for a skill swap. Because I think Palafin has a hard swap. Right? With Fake Out on the field, I feel like it just has a hard swap. So, instead of wasting a Fake Out here, I think we just go into the skill swap. We double Lycanroc's damage. And we just start popping Rock Slides. And out comes the Terrasalization. No swap. No swap, which is weird. I'm kind of scared of that. And that's going to be Arcanine into Grass, probably. Right? Into Dragon. Dragon Arcanine? That's a little weird, but... Okay. Only if I had a Fluttermane. Fluttermane would be lovely. Let's see what Palafin's going for. I know. You're going for an E-Speed into Medicham. 
You're going for a Jeff Punch in the Meta Champ. So Meta Champ's eaten. This is actually fine by me. This is fine by me. So Meta Champ got off a skill swap. And we get off a nice big rock slide. At least some damage on the Palafin. So I like that damage. I can get I can get by with that. So from here, I think Palafin is gonna swap, but into who is the real question? Root Bonnet probably makes the most sense. So I feel like if we just go for like a, a stone edge here to try to finish off Arcanine. I could detect, or I can just straight up close combat this slot. Which I think that's gonna be my point, just straight up close combat. Because if he goes into Brute Bonnet and Arcanine does not go after Medcham here, ooh, it's gonna be the it's gonna, just gonna be done sparse. And I think that's a normal type. So we can get off some big damage. I actually kind of forget his typing. It might be Dragon. I think it is Dragon. <laughs> Dunstarch is just such a weird Pokemon, right? He's just one of those weird Pokemon. Stone Edge comes out here and we miss! That's ugly. That's I don't like that. That's not good at all. No bueno. Um Huh, we do have Dantoza, we do have Tatsugiri, which I mean we're gonna outspeed with the choice scarf. So I don't mind choosing into Dragon Pulse and looking to KO the Arcanine here. And then just going after the Dunsparce. The real question is like what moves does, does the Dunsparce have stored up? That's his real question. Wait, let me see his typing real quick. And no, it is normal. I was correct on that. So I think from here. I'm just gonna Stone Edge to Dunsparce. Or Dunsparce in this case. And I'm gonna Dragon Pulse and look for the KO on Arcanine. Because I don't think Arcanine can survive this, uh. Survive this Dragon Pulse. And he's just gonna protect Arcanine. So smart play from him. Smart play from him. I feel as we can get some turns out here. And then swap in Don does and have like a rock in the back end. The so Stone Edge comes through here. It is pure power. We do get that crit. That's what we have the scope ones for. And that's a big time KO. So from here, I can keep Dondozo out here. Or not Dondozo. I can keep Tatsugiri just chilling here if I want to. Or I could swap into Dondozo. It is really up to me. It is definitely up to me. Oh, that's a little scary right there. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking of just Stone Edge and you. And terrestrializing you in the water, I like that the best. And just going for a Dragon Pulse. I like that the best. I like that the best. We are going to use our Tatsugiri for attack. We are using this thing for attack, which I really, really like. I really like that we're using this thing for attack. I'm having fun with it. Because our opponent probably keeps thinking, hey, yo, he's going to swap. He's going to do this. But nah, yo, we're just straight up attacking. So East Speed comes out here. We're able to soak that. Dragon Pulse should come out here and pick up the KO. Right, it should KO the Arcanine, and it does. We might not even get any value out of Dondoza, but I can look for Fishers if uh, Tatsugiri dies out here. So we'll see what our opponent wants to go for here. A Moonblast into the Tatsugiri slot. Probably going to KO me. Yeah, but yo, I'll take that all day. I did waste a Terra. There was no point of Terrasalizing, but it's all good. I wasn't expecting them to double down into me. But still, can the Stone Edge land? Can the Stone Edge land? It does not. Wow, yo, we're one for two on these stone edges. This is ugly. This is real ugly. This is real ugly. This is real ugly. The amount of times we've been missing these stone edges has been bad. So from here, um, I'm looking to land these fishers straight up. Not even gonna lie. I'm looking to just land these fishers. I think I just protect you. Do I go for a fisher land? Or do I wave crash this into Palafin? Hmm. Because obviously Jet Punch should have come through here. And Jet Punch do me a little wrong. Jet Punch do me a little wrong here. Water Terror type would have been great. But of course we missed the Stone Edge. Fluttermane probably should be dead here. Huh. So RNG do me a little rough here. I think I made the right play with going uh, Tatsugiri just attacking. But I'm going to try for this Fisher Land. I'm going to try to get rid of Palafin here. We're going to go straight for Palafin going straight for Palafin. So we protect our Lycanroc. We're looking for the Fisher to land. Jet Punch does come out here. Can we land this Fisher because we missed two Stone Edges already? Not one, but two. And a Moon Blast. They're doubling down on Lycanroc here. So great protect from us. Can we get this? Can we land this? Can we do it? Can we do it? We do it. That is big time. That is big time. Let's go. Our opponent's probably like, come on, man. But hey, we missed two uh, Stone Edges already. That was just a makeup right there. So big time protect from us. And now we're sitting in just a that's a real pretty spot, here, right? Real, real pretty spot. From here, I'm still gonna go for my stone edges. I don't care. I'm all about the big damage. And we're gonna switch the wave crash here. 
We will switch away fast. Thunderbolt come yo! Chill on me! Thunderbolt comes out here. That thing is orbed. And can we land a stone edge? We do it. Lycan rock ripping, man. Look at that. That is unfair. Double damage, getting the crits, all that good stuff. Match number one was perfectly showcased Lycan rock. We take that all day. One another to get things started. Let's hop into a second. Let's go back to back. We're hopping into our second match, and we're going up against a team that I actually showcase on the channel. I believe it is a choice band Dragapult team with Shen Pao, Fluttermane, Amoogus, Palfin, and Arcanine. Arcanine, again, is going to be a problem. I don't really feel like dealing with it, but we're going to have to deal with it. My whole team is physical attacking, so they're obviously going to bring in the Arcanine, which is going to be annoying. It is definitely going to be annoying, but how should I lead this one? How should I get after it? I could go Tatsu Giri for the lead. I could do that and just use it as a water type Pokemon. Kind of like how I did last time. But on the dragon attacking side. But I really like that play from Tatsu Giri. You don't get to see too much just attacking Tatsu Giri. So I might end up leading this Pokemon. I kind of want to, right? I kind of just want to lead it, right? I kind of would like to lead it. Or I can just go Lycanroc Metacham again, which I really like. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Lycanroc Metacham. And do I bring a Mims? I mean, Mims isn't bad here. I do like Mims. It does have Shadow Sneak. I can't get down with some Shadow Sneaks. But I also like Don Dozo and Tatsugiri. I'm going to go same squad. I am going to go same squad. Am I going to go same squad? No, we're not going to go same squad. Am I actually? Yeah, we are going to go same squad. I like it too much. I had fun with it in the last match. Plus... We don't get to use Lycanroc and Metachan too often in the meta. This is actually like my first time, probably my only time I'm going to use it for a long time. So I'd rather use it up as much as I can and showcase it to you guys as much as I possibly can. But it's just a lot of fun for me. It is a lot of fun for me. And it's something different so you guys aren't just seeing me use Fluttermane, Palafin, Iron Bundle, all that stuff over and over and over again. So all meta teams, always fun. I know you guys do enjoy them. But out comes the lead. It's going to be Palafin and Dragapult. We like that. No Arcanine, we like that. So now we get to go into these two. These two little boogers. And from here, I might Terrasilize. I could fake out Palpin, but I don't really see the point of faking out Palpin. I think just going into a rock slide here. And oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Terrasilizing and going into the rock slide. Just in case the jet punch comes out from that Palpin. We can soak. And then just skill swapping. Let's do it. Let's give it pure power. Let's double its attack stat. And he ends up withdrawing the uh, Palpin. That's totally fine. I do wonder what Dragapult is going for, and Arcanine's going to come out here. So, if Arcanine takes this Rock Slide, it could be big damage. Even though we're minus one, we're skill swapping here. I think we should be fine. I'm kind of scared of what Dragapult's going to do. But we Terrasilize with Lycanroc in the straight water. Water boy. Rock would be awesome, because then we can get even a bigger boost. But the boost is already strong enough. I'd rather this Pokemon have a good Terra type like that. He's going to end up going for a Phantom Force, which I don't mind. This is just free damage on the Lycanroc. It is free. Or not Lycanroc. Free damage onto the Arcanine. Then out comes our skill swap. Our opponent's probably like, yo, what's going on? Rock's like, can you connect with Arcanine? We've been missing a lot of Rock moves. And it does connect on Arcanine. That's a big time damage. We like that damage. So from here, you know what? I'm going to say screw it. I'm going to go into a Stone Edge into the Dragapult slot. And do I close combat this thing? Oh, yo, I could go. I could hard swap into Don Dozo. I could do this. I could hard swap into Don Dozo if I wanted to. And give it no guard. Do I try this? Do I dare try this? I say screw it. Let's have some fun with this one. I'm going to swap into Don Dozo. I messed up. I messed up. I totally messed up. Never mind. I want to swap the Lycan Rock for Dondozo and then skill swap it, but I messed up. I totally messed up. It's all good. We'll make up for it. He withdrawed Arcanine. Okay, that kind of made up for it. That kind of made up for it. So I have Medicham in the back end. Shen Pal's gonna come out here. Ooh, that's a little... That might do me a little wrong, right? That might do me a little bad. Let's see who he ends up fan of forcing into. Yep, you. You're dead. That does me a, a, little, a little wrong. Because what I wanted to do could have actually worked out really well for us. If I swapped Don Dozo into that slot, that could have worked out really well for us. But do you still have no guard? No. Are you back having pure power? I think you are. So I could go I could go Tatsu here. Or I could go back into Metacham and just get off a free fake out. Could be my plan. We could look to land some more Fishers. Could have some fun with this one. You know, I'm going to go into Metacham this turn. 
Because I can fake out and I can always swap into Tatsu whenever I want. I'm going to go into Medicham. I'm going to fake out here. And I'm going to try to set up a sub. I'm going to try to set up a nice lovely substitute. Nice lovely big catfish substitute. So they still have Arcanine in the back end. Arcanine took a big chunk of damage. He could intimidate me, which could be the player, to be honest with him. Yep. Now comes Arcanine. Um, I'm going to get off a free sub, though, which is good news. Really good news. Really lovely news. Shen Powers can protect, and again, free sub. I wish I could have taken off that focus, Ash, though. That could have been big for us. So a lovely free substitute. Again, we can always bulk our attack back up, and we can just look to land Fishers, but I need to kind of get rid of Arcanine, correct? Getting rid of Arcanine is going to be our best friend here. So I have a sub set up. Um, I don't really want to close combat in that. I'd rather close combat into this. And I'd rather... I don't want to fish into that. I'd rather just wave crash. Even though I think he's going to hard swap the Arcanine. That's still going to be my play. That is still going to be my play. Hopefully he just leaves Arcanine on the field. You know? And we can just get rid of it, take it out no problem, and kind of go from there. Because with this sub suit up, if I can hold on to this for a little bit, I can just... Fish for fishers, right? Just keep sending them, keep going at it. 30% actually, once bound to land eventually. One out of three, one out of four about. And he does stay in with Arcanine, which I really like. So he goes for the Ice Spinner. I'm able to soak, which is good. Close combat comes out here. Probably puts this thing down to Sash. It does. Don does a Pride is now at speed, so Arcanine's going to KO my Medicham. But I don't really mind this. Actually, a little bit, because, hmm. That thing's a little annoying. He does go for the Flare Bus. So Flare Bus comes out here. He is going to go down here to this wave crash, and now we're sitting in a weird spot. A very weird spot. A very weird spot, which I don't know what to do because I wish I had, like, EQ or something. I wish I had EQ to take out the, what's it called? The Shen Pao, because it's all on one HP, and I would love to just sit here and rip Fishers into the left slot, but with Shen Pao on this field, it's a little bit of a problem. So we're going to get some leftovers HP. Um, we're gonna see what our opponent wants to do here. So out comes Tatsu. Tatsu's gonna be good for like a late game Pokemon. So if I could just start taking out Pokemon, I can eventually just choice scarf into a move too. So Palfin comes back out. I could look to just Fisher that thing up. Right? Man, there's gonna get in here. I think I just looked at Fisher, right? My defense is stacked. My attack's getting up here. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Did they did they terrasize yet? Did they? I don't believe they did. But I'm thinking of just wave crashing this turn into Shen Pao, even though Shen Pao might just protect. And then just trying to land at least like one Fisher, right? Shen Pao does protect. That hurts. That hurts. I feel like I say things. I say things, but sometimes it doesn't work out. I just don't want him to not protect me waste this turn. So I'd rather go into him. And this thing hazes me. Oh no. Oh no, luckily we still have sub. Luckily we still have sub. So a haze comes out of here. Haze is off my all my boost. And I'm just gonna go into wave crash again into the Shen Pao slot. I'm just gonna look to take out Shen Pao. Now that now that my stats are down. And so I feel like that that would be our chance to win this game. Is to just get after these guys, do what we can. Try to land one Fisher, right? If I can land one Fisher onto one, either the the Palafin or the Dragapult, then maybe, just maybe, Tatsugiri can come out here with the Choice Scarf and land a nice big Draco Meteor. So he ends up withdrawing Shen Pao, which is a little weird. I think he's just saved it for first time Friday, which is, be my guess, that's fine. Dragapult's gonna come out here, and I think he'll, he'll Phantom Force next turn. The Wave Crash is gonna fly in here, and hopefully we can soak this up through sub and keep our sub. Can we keep our sub? Can we keep the sub? No, it fades. How dare you? If we had our defense boost, I think we would have kept our sub there. That could have been big. The wave crash is now going to fly into the Dragapult slot. The great match and it's going to be not very effective. Yeah, we're going for Fishers. We're laying it. We're looking for Fishers here. Palfin, I'm coming right after you. I'm coming right after you because Dragapult might just Phantom Force this turn. Definitely a possibility. 
I'm, I'm looking to land the fishers on the palafins today. We already landed it once, so we're going for it again. Right now, my accuracy is 100. I'm one for one, looking to go two for two. Two for two would be big. That'd be big, big time. Let's see. Let's see how our opponent plays this one. He's going to end up Tarasalize. Who are you Tarasalize? He's got to be the pole here, right? What type have you got the pole on? What type is he rocking? Straight Dragon. Okay, so Tatsugiri can finish that off with a Dragon Pulse. Like I said, if I can land a Fisher, man, if I can land a Fisher, he'd be sitting pretty good. Dragon Dart's going to come out here. He's looking to just chunk up damage here. Wow, that actually did a lot. That actually doing... It's doing a lot. Oh, wow. But now my defense boost. This thing's down for the count. I don't even think we're soaking that up. No, yeah, let's wrap it up. Wrap it up. It's a great place for my opponent. Tatsugiri is going to come out here. Like I said, if I could have just landed a fish on the Palfin, we would have had a shot. Because I would have just done this. But he's probably going to protect here. But I do outspeed. Can we give it a shot? It's, it's over. But I kind of just want to kill this. Uh, I kind of just want to kill this Dragon Bolt. I just want to kill this thing. I just want to take it out. Get it on out of here. <laughs> just get it on out of here. So yeah, match this this match we're, we're definitely losing. But I'm thinking what I could have done. I don't think it would have worked. But I was going to say, I probably could have Draco Meteor the uh, Palfin. And then Draco Meteor the... What's it called? Oh, wait a minute. We have a shot here. We have a shot here. Shen Pal's got Sucker Punch, which is a problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. We're going to go after it and hope that it, maybe it's not Rocket Sucker Punch. It could be a Throw Chop one. But we're going to give this a shot here. Do you imagine Palfin protects here? Yeah, it does have Sucker Punch. It's a little booger. You little booger. <laughs> of course it does. It's all good. One and one. We pretty much already knew that we lost that match. Let's hop into our third. Look for that winning record. Final match coming at you guys. Can we grab ourselves a winning record with this off meta team? I sure hope so. They have no Legends of Ruin Pokemon, but they do have the boy, Grim Snarl with the screens. Always a problem. They also have Mimikyu, just like us, Bax Calibur, Annihilate, which is a huge problem, and then Golden Go and Rotom Heat. I do kind of like my Pokemon here. I do like you and you, considering if you Stone Edge, it hits through screens. So I really actually do like this lead. So I'm actually going to go back into this lead. I'm digging it a lot. I'm going to go into them too. I am going to bring Mimikyu, and I think I'm just going to bring Ting Lu here. I can get down for some Ting Lu action. Ting Lu is pretty good. And plus, we have Fish on it. It's very bulky. He can fish her. Say he's like a one on one. He can soak up a lot of shots and, and maybe get off two or three fishers in hopes that we would land at least one of them. So, Ting Lu, always a good choice. Always a good choice. So, we're going to see if we can actually rip into this, get my Lycan Rock Pure Power yet again, and just have it throwing Rock Slides and Stone Edges. But yeah, that's what I really like about him is that is that scope punch right there. Goes through in any stat drops, any screens. The crits are just incredible. I'm not sure if it's 100% crit chance, but I think it's pretty dang close. It's pretty dang close. But we'll see who they want to lead. I'm kind of curious to see who they're going to lead. It's got to be Grimstarl, right? Your only support Pokemon. You got to be popping with Grimstarl. Grimmy Grim could come out here. We could have let Mimikyu to try to get some speed with Trick Room. That could have been a play, but I like this lead a lot. I definitely like this lead a lot. So let's see who they go into. Dun -dun -dun. Back to Calibur and Grimstar. Okay. I don't mind that. Um, I could see a Terra from Back Calibur here with these fighting Pokemon and this rock Pokemon on the field. Uh, but I'm thinking I'm just going to Stone Edge here. And I'm just going to fake out. I could actually fake out and just say no to screens. I'm actually with that. Fake out and say no to screens. I probably should just rock slide, but I think Bax Calibur is going to go for a Terra. So we're going to fake out turn one. Instead of getting giving us pure power. We are just going to fake it out. Because I'm going to look to maybe just land a crit, get off as much damage as I can, and possibly get a KO. Because if we can get a KO, woo! If we can get a KO. The crit can do big time damage. I know we don't have the pure power, but it's still a stab. It's still a crit from a Lycanroc. And Stone Edge is big damage already. So if it got some come out here, build a little bit of damage. And make this thing flinch. Probably setting up a reflect. Stone Edge does connect. We get the crit, but we put it on pretty much one, and they get a free eat up. So now they get a free screen. And from here, I'm just gonna pure power and I'm gonna rock slide. I'm hoping Medchamp can just outspeed. That hurts, man. I would have loved to get rid of that Grimstone. I would have absolutely loved to do that to do that 
So Max Caliber might just protect here because it is going to take double damage because it just uses uh, signature move Blade Rush, which I wouldn't mind. Because if it protects, I pretty much guarantee Metacham setting up that pure power. That's really all I want Metacham to do right now is just get off pure power and then we could be sitting pretty good here. But Metacham might outspeed uh, Max Caliber regardless, but Max Caliber also rocks Ice Shard. It's just a problem all around. I just feel like if it doesn't protect, and it goes for a Thunder Wave, you're looking to slow me down. What was the point of slowing me down there? Are you Ice Sharding? What are you doing? Are you double down to Medcham? Rockside is going to come in through here. Can we get a flinch? So no screens, and we pick up the KO. That is huge. That is huge. This thing's hitting like a truck without pure power. That is hitting like a truck. Can we not be paralyzed here and give the pure power over? Love it, love it, love it. So, very solid third and final battle so far. We're sitting here, Lincoln Rock is boosted. Um, we're just kind of hoping they don't bring out really fast Pokemon and take out my Lincoln Rock. I could Thrash Slides into water. I'm looking to get off at least like one more Rock Slide with this thing. Then get thriving from there. And Rotom comes out here, so that's a good Pokemon for Rock moves. And last but not least, Golden Ghost can come out here. So, do I water, do I water Terra up here? Do I water Terra? I mean, it's electric. I think we just save this. I think we just go for the rock slide, look for some flinches, and I think we'll just double down on Rotom at this point. Rotom might might even protect here. There's a possibility that Rotom might protect. But I feel like Rotom either has to Terrasalize or protect here, correct? And out comes Terrasalization. Unless Golden Go is taking it, but I highly doubt that. It is going to be Pizza Oven. Rotom, Pizza Oven taking it, and he's going to go into straight grass. What a wonderful Terra. What a lovely little Terra. So we'll see how this one plays. Rockslide is going to go first. We're missing somebody. Who dies? Why, why are my Rockslides missing? And that's some good damage on the Golden Go. Give me a flinch. We get a crit too. Lovely. No flinch. Terra Blast. You're going to say, hey, yo, see you later, right? Lake and Rock. You're going to that. The so Terra Blast. Yeah, I'm gone. I'm done. I'm done for. Terra Blast rips into me. Good thing I did not waste my Terra on that Pokemon. He flinches, so we get off another turn. That's pretty big. And Close Combat's going to fly here. And we get off some nice damage. So, Metacham's already out for the count. I mean, it's paralyzed. It's really not doing anything. He's kind of just there. But now, I could bring out Mimikyu. And it's a free Shadow Sneak. And I think Shadow Sneak might KO. It's a free Shadow Sneak. And yeah, I'm going to do that. And I might hard swap into Ting Lu here. Do I hard swap into Ting Lu? I think I am going to hard swap into Ting Lu. For two reasons. One, we drop the special attack on the field. And both their attackers are special attackers. None of mine are. And then two, we're, our mana champ can get fake out back. Which could potentially come in the back end and help us out. But I think we should be fine once after a swap. But Shadow Sneak should pick up the KO. The Ting Lu comes out here. Lake Rock did a huge job here in match number three. And we're ready to rip. So Shadow Sneak's in a fly. Can we just straight up KO this thing? We are orbed. And there's a big time KO. So KO comes out, we get a crit, yo. The crits are running wild today. Running wild for our team. Even though all of them come from Blake and Rock with the scope lines. But we get a free crit with the Mimikyu, which I love. will o is going to fly through here. It ain't no problem. It ain't no problem because I'm just going to constantly use Fisher till you're dead now. I'm just going to use Fisher until you're dead. I could Terrasalize, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to play this one real safe. I'm just going to play rough you. I am going to Terrasalize you. Oh, ground doesn't really help me out here. But yeah, I'm just going to go into a Fisher. No, wait a minute. You are... You are what's called? You have Levitate. I can't go for Fishers. You have Levitate. Good thing I remembered. Our opponent cancels the battle anyway. There it is. 2-1. A lovely winning record for today's video. This Midnight Lycan Rock and Metacham combo was way better than I thought it would be. We absolutely ripped into it in all three battles. Did not catch a win in battle number two, but still went two and one for today's video and grabbed ourselves a winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.